Welcome to the second section on making a great thesis. And what we're actually going to learn about is that a thesis is actually a mixture of a destination, a path, and that is what a thesis is. So be very, very simple things to kind of go over and to help you understand that, yes, a thesis is actually really, really easy to put together. And once you clarify it, once you polish it, the rest of the essay will flow naturally. Review from last lesson. Okay, a clear thesis makes everything easy. I know I keep repeating that, but please, 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 that is why this is so important. Everything else must point back to the thesis. What do I mean by that? I mean, if, you're, if you have a thesis and you start writing something in your essay that has nothing, nothing to do with the thesis, you need to delete it and get it out of that paper. A thesis must help the reader predict what comes next. This is what we're going to be concentrating mostly on for this lesson. We'll be going over kind of an argumentative opinion thesis first, and then kind of the descriptive essay. Don't forget the interrogatives, who, what, why, where, when, and how. You don't have to ask all of these at the same time. You can ask as many as you like about the topic, and you will pick which ones are going to help you form your thesis. Also, remember that the right brain is very messy, and that the left brain refines and organizes. Last lesson, we were all in a right brain land. This current lesson, we're going to be concentrating on the left brain land because you need to know how to get to Oklahoma. Here is a map. This is a map of a college campus. And this is right here, the library. In this one, we have the boys' dormitory. This is the girls' dormitory. Here is some classrooms, classrooms, the green part's a lawn, and this is a wonderful, watery reflection pond. That black part, can you guess what it is? That's a parking lot. So, let's say that you were in the parking lot and you wanted to get to the library. Well, you might ask your student to say, hey, how do I get to the library? And they'll say something like, oh, it's really, really easy. You just turn, you know, this way Go all the way down, and then you'll see one of the big classroom buildings. Once you, see, once you pass that, just turn again. You'll see a little bit more classroom buildings, and there it is. There's a library. Maybe you'll ask another student, and they'll say, oh, yeah, it's really simple. What you do is you go all the way down to the reflection pond, but don't pass the reflection pond. Turn, and you'll see the huge main walkway in the middle of campus. Go down there, turn, and there you'll see the library. Another student might say, okay, what you need to do is you need to climb on top of the girls' dormitory, find one of the hang gliders up there, fly over to the boys' dormitory, parachute down, and then dig a tunnel underneath the lawn, and then once you've done that, you'll come out in front of the library. Okay, so what do these things have in common? Well, they all got the same destination. What don't they have in common? How you get there. We'll learn that how you get there and what the destination is are the two things you need for a thesis. 